Season 3 of Vanguard is here. It's supposed to be a monstrous season. It actually has me kind of excited. And we're kicking everything off with the Battle Pass. All right, the season three battle pass. Let's see what's in store. Starting off with the instant rewards, which you may notice there's more items this time than usual. One of the rewards you'll get is Mateo. He is the like tier one operator, featured operator for this season. Reminds me of uh, John Berthenhall, the uh, the actor there. But you'll get uh, that skin for him, which is kind of like his base skin. And then you also get the Chingon legendary skin, which is, I guess he's like the uh, Vanguard's version of Ghost. <laughs> Uh, which, which is pretty cool. You can see he has like a little like Mexican flag patch on his thing. You'll also get, we got uh, Mountain Knight for Daniel, which I like this skin. Very basic, very World War II, but very clean looking. And uh, you'll get your double XP token and your season three XP boost as usual. And wait, we also have a blueprint. Uh, looks like the pump action or oh, combat shotgun is what it's called in this game. Machine Envy. Uh, nothing like crazy looking, but six rewards for the ancient rewards once you buy the battle pass which is nice those are not battle pass bundles just unlock with the regular battle pass all right so moving on uh free calling card which i mean you got calling cards here uh don't really care you know f weapon charm i feel like we've had this before don't care uh we got the work hazard assault rifles the volkstrom or the as-40 i'm sorry the as-44 i think not the nz-41 uh all right, cool. The Free for Clans tiers are returning. Uh, you get 100 uh, Call of Duty points for free if you are in a clan. If you're not, check out the video uh, linked in the cards and in the description. After this video, of course, uh, if you're looking to join a clan. Double XP token, we got the Turtled Up MVP highlight. Um, all right, let's try that again. So we see if we start. Snoop Dogg not included. Uh, I bought him a couple days ago. I also get the military strategy calling card for the split tier. Uh, cool, I guess. Final round animated calling card. All right, we got a uh, constant skin. I'm not gonna preview all like the, I think, yeah, that looks just like the thumbnail. We're just gonna not preview all the not cool looking stuff. Legendary stuff we'll see, but all this other stuff don't care uh tier 15 is all uh, right i think there's two i actually i don't know how many weapons are in the battle pass but this is the m1916 marksman rifle um really don't know how it's gonna function but we'll find you on the channel soon we got the toss-up gesture which you yeah you, you can't preview it just shows you that uh, glitch battle pass <laughs> nothing surprising here transmitter blueprints meh early sketch like all these uh you got the leather card for wade sticker honestly so far not that impressed we got the free retro fashioned shotgun for the double barrel which i will note if you guys didn't hear this uh, season's like king kong monster universe godzilla themed and this is the first blueprint that you can see kind of has you know some monster verse-esque elements to it. i believe there's another one we'll see in the battle pass and in the near future uh highlight uh, coming up in the, in the next couple minutes i gotta play these things twice because this game just never works the twirling pistol highlight intro all right we're already up dude come on i know the season just started but it's so annoying all right so easy cowboy we, we already got that clean and sign whatever all right uh we got the submachine gun fox type 100 blueprint standard looking like world war ii blueprint whatever whatever we got a uh padma body skin this is the second free weapon we got the nikita avt which actually i'm really looking forward to based off what it's uh what, what they've described of it so far it's an assault rifle uh interesting call assault rifle able even though the stg is assault rifle able but this is supposed to be like a all-around excelling type weapon it can be converted to short range converted to long range engagements i'm really excited to get my hands on that see how it is we got cod points uh cold blood oh that's actually a pretty cool calling card i like that design you, like wipe the blood off and then you can you focus shift so you can see the the reflection in the eyes Hey, whoever designed that, kudos. Make more stuff like that. That's cool. Uh, another free for clans thing. We got a cool, pretty, yeah, pretty cool solarium watch, gold plated. Uh, all right. Marshmallow for Baker. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is free, I guess. Oh, it's not animated. Never mind. Lame. Uh, Bren Blueprint, which is like a pseudo gold texture. Usually they, they they usually do those in this game. Why am I previewing this? I don't I don't care. Uh, this is actually looking kind of cool uh although it's not animated why did this make the lights flicker a little bit this would have been cool power flicker nz41 cool design actually looks like there may be a little bit of plasma movement 
on the barrel there. I can't tell. Um, moving on. I have nothing else to say there. Uh, STG. Okay, cool. Uh, if you haven't unlocked the well gun yet and don't want to do the challenge and you complete your battle pass, you can get this like <laughs> flamethrower looking well gun blueprint and unlock it that way. That's, that's cool, I guess. Uh, deciphered. Metal armament, uh, Polina skin, assault rifle, easy is the Volk. Lots of like exposed wires and stuff because it's supposed to be like all sciencey this season and stuff, but <sighs> you know, graphite, is this the, uh, okay, uh, I believe this is the Whitley LMG, which again is a last season weapon so if you don't have that unlocked yet and you complete battle patch you can lock it this way uh also well was a really overpowered lmg it could get nerfed a bit um scrolling through here this is the okay this is the other like monster verse themed one uh it's a mp40 and you can see the barrel has like a neon radioactive glow to it uh, not as intense as like what you would expect like a mashcraft or something but it is there uh, i guess it's it's cool for a call of duty battle pass but man this battle pass, I mean, if y'all have been following the channel, you know I haven't been uploading, you know, the last, uh, six weeks-ish. I've been playing other games, checking out some other games' battle passes, you know, enjoying life and stuff, and <laughs> seeing other games' battle passes and coming back to this. Call of Duty needs to step their game up. Uh, we're, we're just over, or we're about to hit the 75% mark on the battle pass. Uh, okay. So they are adding a lot of previous weapons. So if like, you haven't played the game and you want to like pick it up now for some reason, this is the Garenko anti tank sniper rifle. I think it was in season one. Uh, it was like a mid-season one update. You can unlock it in the battle pass if you don't have it yet. We got the rusty map MVP highlight. I'm gonna start it. I'm already gonna back it out because it's not gonna play. It's game's broken like that. I kind of like that. Not gonna lie. Uh, cool to see it for free so people can be rocking that. Got double SP token, blah, 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 firebombing. What do we got? S, yeah, submachine gun dot, PPSH. Yeah, PPSH. Blueprint. It's a blueprint. That could be rare for all I know. Uh, Photon Phantom. Okay, this was in... Man, they made this look so much cooler in the Battle Pass artwork. Like, uh, much more vibrant. Okay, it does have, the, like, the radioactive magazine, like, stuff with the, 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 the 18 round mag attachment, but... Very dull looking in game, not gonna lie. Uh, we got a assault rifle George. Uh, and this is looks this looks more this almost looks like actually this kind of looks like some match crafts that I've seen in the store for Vanguard. Looks like the automaton one. Got the exposed wire, the glowing parts. I feel like the glowing would glow a little bit more if it was like a match craft or heroic, but hey, that's actually a pretty decent looking blueprint. Would I buy the battle pass just for it? No, but all right, that looks decent. Uh, it looks like there is a second, okay. The Nordic Sun. This is the... Let me show you. So a lot of stuff was added to this weapon. One of them is the Skull Crusher, which is essentially an axe. Viking-themed axe. And it's like a melee weapon that you can also throw. Like a throwing knife, but it's actually a melee weapon. So it looks like you still have to like unlock the base version of it. But if you do unlock the blueprint, you essentially have the, the melee weapon unlocked as well. So if you can get to, uh, what is this, tier 89, you'll get that. We got a free Beatrice skin at level 90 i mean okay looking skin but come on now <laughs> the soldier soldier we got a watch we got what we got pumped up rare highlight intro oh yeah i gotta start it and then play it again one pump shotgun turn around and shoot it again very casual uh what is the split here we got the emblem uh marksman rifle baker this, my first instinct is like Egyptian, <laughs> but uh, very vibrant looking. I like the blue and gold theme. Uh, moving on, we got weapon charm, call of duty points, master plan. We're already at tier 100. Wow. This is actually a cool skin. This would be, this is something that would be, be warranted worth buying. Pretty cool looking skin. Not gonna lie, we also have the Amphibian Empire. This is for the new assault rifle, which looks like a grows up from Black Ops Cold War. Uh, very vibrant, obviously, uh, frog theme, very bright, bright, like amphibians are. Are those supposed to be, like, eyes? <laughs> like, the little dials on the barrel? Uh, we have the Master Duelist Legendary, uh, title. We got the Season 3 Emblem and the Season... Oh, Weapon Charm. I don't know if you usually get Weapon Charms for the Battle Pass, but that's a cool addition. 
out. So a couple changes worth highlighting before I decide to buy this or not. Of course, you have the instant rewards. There's more instant rewards this time around. Another thing is in the Season 3 Battle Pass, there are no uh, perks or lethals or kill streaks in this. The only non-cosmetic items are the Nikiti AVT, and then we also had that uh, assault rifle, and then that skull melee weapon blueprint that you can lock as well. That's it. I don't know if they're done adding stuff to the, the battle pass. There's just no new perks or kill streaks or anything like that for season three. So maybe we'll see it in season four, but that is not an incentive in the season three battle pass anymore. So honestly, I'm kind of skeptical about buying this, but I do. Vanguard did receive some updates. I do want to play it. So, uh, I'm going to force myself to buy it, or I'm force myself to play it by buying the Battle Pass. If you're still like wishy-washy on Vanguard though, I mean, this Battle Pass is nothing really special, honestly. That just really goes for Call of Duty Battle Passes in general though. But uh, you know, the game I played recently, which you'll be hearing about in a video soon, like I wanted the things in the Battle Pass. I wanted to get it, I wanted to grind it. That's just, Call of Duty just ain't like that. So let me know what you guys think. Is this Battle Pass worth buying? Will you be playing Vanguard this season? Will you be playing Warzone this season? Is it chalked? Let me know how you guys are feeling about Call of Duty in the Season 3 Battle Pass down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing, and check out some of the links down below at the bottom of the description if you'd like to help support my channel directly. Catch you on the next one. Peace.